Good morning, SK. Good morning, SK. Welcome back, SK. Good morning, South. Good morning, SK. I'm Peyton Beard. Wait, Peyton Byard? Teleprompter, what are you doing? It's B-Y-R-D. It's pronounced bird, you know, like the flying animal. SK seniors, if you don't want this to happen to you at graduation, it is urgent that you complete the graduation name form in your grade level classroom ASAP to ensure that your name is spelled correctly on your diploma and can be pronounced correctly. You only get one high school diploma in your life, so make sure it's right. Our future is bright, SK, and it's never too early to start planning for life after high school. Let's send it down to Mrs. Nass in the Career Center for some information on job opportunities and scholarships. Hello, Wolves, and happy spring. The Career Center has lots of resources and connections to help you with your future. Currently, there are quite a few scholarships available to seniors, and many are coming due. Seniors, please stop by the Career Center or check out our website for the scholarships. Don't let free money go. There are also quite a few jobs available to students who are graduating this June and will be 18 years old. Check out the job board outside the Career Center or the grade level classroom for seniors. Juniors, sophomores, and freshmen, we have several events to help you plan your future. I am scheduling college, military, and apprenticeship representatives to speak with you and answer any questions you may have. Please see your grade level classroom for the days and times, as well as Zoom links. There'll be a presentation for A through K students on Tuesday or Fridays, and for L through Z students, your meetings will be either Mondays or Thursdays. Take advantage of these meetings to help give you the information so you make the best choice for you and your future. Juniors, there's an informational meeting about colleges in general on March 29th or 30th. See the grade level classroom for the Zoom link. Lastly, Ms. Smith and I are happy to help you with lots of other topics, so stop by, say hello, and let us know how we can help. Take care and go Wolves! Each year, acting ensemble students take part in the August Wilson monologue competition at Seattle Repertory Theater. We are proud to share that this year, out of the 20 Washington State students selected as finalists, eight are South Kitsap acting students, which is significantly more than any other school. The featured students are Marlo Lawson, Ethan Dickerson, Carly Jo Lenhard, Ashley Carlson, Frankie Corso, Alice Miller, David Musselman, and Ellie Nunley. Their performances will be streamed online tonight at 6 p.m. Tickets are free. Use the link on screen to sign up and support our talented students. Now that many of us are all transitioning to another new normal being back in the building, I can't think of a better way to celebrate than homecoming. First, voting for homecoming king and queen has been underway this week. Use the QR code shown on screen to cast your vote. Voting ends today and we'll announce the winners live on WTV tomorrow. To celebrate homecoming this year, ASB has planned a drive through event this Saturday from 3 to 6 p.m. There will be giveaways, photo booths, and much more. And Roscoe will be DJing. Tune in to 88.7 FM on your car radio as you near campus. In spirit of homecoming, remember to pick up your SK swag from the DECA student store. They are now open but not yet selling food. Let's take a look at another SK athlete in this week's Blast from the Past, Jude Heath. Heathcote developed to be a fine three-sport athlete for our Wolves. SK placed seventh in the 90, 1945 state basketball tournament, and Jude was the first SK player in any sports to earn all state honors. At Washington State College, he played basketball and went on to coach both high school and college level. Now that we're back in the building, we need to quickly review some of our safety procedures last week. We talked about fire drills. This week, we'll talk about lockdowns. Previously, the safety expert Jesus Villahermosa talked to us about school safety and what to do in emergencies. In order to remind us of one of the key instructions, watch this brief scenario as we pose the question, what would Jesus do? A potential threat has entered the building. The lockdown alarms have been triggered, which means there's a threat somewhere in the vicinity. You and others are in class. What do you do? Security expert Jesus Villahermosa says first, make sure the classroom door is closed and locked as well as the windows. Then assist your teacher in covering any openings into the classroom such as the door and the windows. Turn off the lights to give yourself more camouflage and of course, be quiet. 
you don't want to draw attention to your classroom. Next, where should you place yourself in the room? According to Jesus, you should sit against the wall that the door is in. You should also consider having something in hand to strike the intruder in case they breach the door. These are not pleasant situations to consider, but being alert and cautious could save your life. And that's what Jesus would do. Stay safe, South. Since we're talking about it now, I'm sure there will be a drill in our future. Now that Season 2 sports have started, there's no better way to support your baseball and softball teams by showing your SK pride with a new ball cap. SK ball caps are now on sale. These nice Nike dry fit caps are $18.50 each in sizes small, medium, large, and extra large. Come to the ASB window Monday through Friday after school until 3 p.m. to pick yours up. There's limited inventory, so act fast. As we wrap up this show, please remember, if you have a bus pass note, you need to turn it in first thing in the morning at the main office. Don't miss your ride by waiting until the end of the school day to turn it in. Students, teachers, and anyone who needs an announcement added to the bulletin or WTV, please remember to send your inf information to Mrs. Mueller in the athletic office. You can also share your pet of the week, favorite recipe, a short video, or interesting article for the newsletter by uploading your files to the Wolves WIN form in your grade level classroom. We would love to hear from you. Well, that just about wraps up today's show. Stay tuned for clubs for this week. And with that, I'm Peyton Eagle, really teleprompter. Have a great day, SK.